Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here, thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're about to start playing a new game. This game is called Mortal Glory. Apologies if you uh, if you logged in to YouTube. Do people do that? It's already logged in, isn't it, Rudy? Generally. Um, and saw this notification saying there's a new video and expected it to be Star Wars. Um, truth be told, I'm a little bit bored of, of, of it. It's not really my kind of game, that sort of action RP, uh, that action adventure type game. Um, and I think that's shown in the video. So uh, I've switched over. I'm... I'm Looking at Mortal Glory, um, this is a, I guess a, a roguelike Dungeons and Dragons style gladiator battle arena. Is that a genre of game? Anyway, that's we'll get to that in a second. Uh, just you know, obviously, if you tuned in looking for Star Wars, let me know on this video that you were expecting Star Wars or on the last Star Wars video and and that you're disappointed that it's not coming back and we'll go from there. Let's have a little look at the tutorial. I haven't played any of this game. It's not a lot of options, as you can see. We've got a frame rate of 120 frames per second. Seems a little pointless. Um, we've got turn indicators and screen shake and blood and, and that's about it. Um, let's have a little look at the tutorial. Uh, in Mortal Glory, teams of gladiators fight each other in a blood-soaked tournament. In the end, there can be only one winner. And then there was you. You manage your new team joining the tournament. Use your resources wisely to stay ahead of the competition and do whatever it takes to bring glory to your name. Uh, we fight to progress through the ranks, face tougher competition. You might manage to, if you manage to fight your way through. If you manage to fight, if you manage to fight your way through all five levels, why is reading so tough? You'll face the reigning champions in a final decisive match. You can lose one fight per level and still stay in the tournament, but lose two fights and you'll get knocked out cause you to lose the game okay um in fights you take turns while the enemy uh, with the enemy to move and attack keep an eye on your ap counter as it tells you how many moves you, your current unit has left okay clicking on a direction arrow um will have you move in that direction a melee attack can be done if the arrow is red attack and will end your turn if a unit is knocked out of the battle the hp reaches zero the first to knock out all enemies um units win the fight Position your units wisely and take full advantage of their unique strengths to outplay the enemy. Each fight will prov provide unique opportunities to exploit. Each time a unit is knocked out, they will, in they will receive injury counters based on the severity of their injuries. Units with injury counters start fight with 10% less HP for each counter. Okay. After each fight, all of your gladiators will heal one injury counter. Be careful as gladiators will die permanently if they reach 10 injury counters. Okay. Between fights, you can visit the town to find new recruits, buy gear and improve your gladiators. All kinds of events are constantly happening in the town. You never know what might happen or who you might run into. Advanced tips. In fights, use the environment to your advantage. Getting knocked into a wall or into a unit will cause collision damage based on the force of the knockback. The Emperor overseeing the tournament doesn't want to be drawn doesn't want drawn out fights and occasionally have special demands. It is best to keep him happy unless you are willing to face the consequences. Okay. Advanced tip. If you fight your after the fight your team will get a, a portion of the gold from the tickets sold. This is halved if you lose. Formidable gladiators and important matches will attract more spectators. Gladiators can gain a title with the same uh, with some bonus stats if they become famous for winning fights or scoring enough knockouts. Okay. Each race has its own unique strengths and weaknesses. Take this into consideration when choosing your units. Each unit can have a maximum of four skills and four perks each. Advanced tips. The first attack of the fight deals uh, dealt in deals damage. The first attack that deals damage in a fight gets first blood bonus an extra 20% damage. All attacks that are fully blocked by a unit have a 50% chance to deal one scrape damage. Nice. Uh, you can unlock harder difficulties in game mode by challenges by winning the game. Okay, let's begin. I'm I'm all up for it, mate. Okay, let's go to the new game. We're gonna play relaxed uh, for now. Do we play? We'll play rena relaxed for the first one. Uh, the zealots of indulgence. I like that. We can't do any of these. Um, let's start the game. It's game intentionally hard. At times, you'll face insurmountable odds. We expect to make the best of it. Failing is part of the journey. Okay. Hey there. I don't know why I've done that voice. I hear you're looking for a team to manage. I'll be a sponsor and it means I expect you to win. Simple enough, right? Finding all those losing, funding all those losing teams is starting to get unprofitable, so I'm counting on you. Anyway, here's some gold to get you started. Use it wisely. You see 300 gold. Thanks, buddy. He hasn't even got a name, that man. He didn't even introduce himself. 
Just our sponsor, little goblin man. Okay, so fight lobby. I'm guessing we haven't got any any people to fight with. This must be where our team go. Uh, and we can recruit. We've got 300 gold. So Horatio. I'm guessing we can't change names. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, okay, so let's have a little look at each of these as we go. Briella uh, is a dryad in nature due to their calm demeanor. Dryads are often thought to be non-violent. Okay. Um, amnesia. And able to use their skills. Okay, so we've got some some stats here. We've got, I'm assuming this is hit points and this is magic points. Um, how strong the character is. Physical damage for every point. One knockback chance for every point. Okay. And then we've got a, a particular skill down here. Uh, how agile the character is. Plus one critical chance for every two points. One dodge chance for every two points. One max XP. Uh, sorry, AP for every five points. Uh, wisdom. Wow, she's very wise. Um, four MP for every point. One magic damage for every two points. Plus one magic damage for every two points. Uh, sorry, defense. Vitality, four HP. Uh, plus four HP for every point. Okay. And armor, how are you likely to, to block physical damage? Oh, and this tells you how much health the character has and how likely his character resists negative effects. Okay, so each one shows the, the stats underneath that. I don't think we want a dryad. I do think we probably want a werewolf because werewolves are cool. Um, we probably need this, but we want to increase their... We want to increase their um, AP, which means we need this up to 10. Okay. You're cheap. You're quite strong. What's this? Potent. Rush. Charge at an enemy requires an unblocked horizontal or vertical line. Um, damage is increased by 10% for each tile between the target. Well, I think we're going to go with you. And then what we got? We got a Whisperer. Applies a random debuff. Throws a potion of acid. Wow. Seems a little mean. A Fiendling. Dirty stab. Holy crap, very agile. 6 AP. 1 critical damage. Okay, what can you do? You're a gnome. Throw knife. Damage minus 5 physical. Uh, range of 3. Cooldown 1. Spear throw. Pierces 50% of the enemy of the armor. Cause an unblocked horizontal or vertical path to the target. Damage is increased for, by 10% for each tile between the user. I mean, that sounds pretty good, but... I guess we want someone with a bit of range. What about you? You're 259. We can't afford you. I'm guessing we need another person. I don't know. You know what? I'm tempted to go with the gnome. Let's do it. Fine. We've got 30, 30 gold. Can we buy it? Oh, we can. We can buy stuff. Nice. Um, five... Plus five physical damage. We can't buy you. Literally, this is all we can buy. Plus two armor. Plus three magical defense. You know what? Let's just go to a fight. You know, we've spent all his gold. I mean, what's the worst if we lose the first fight, hey? We're up against Miza the Lizard. Okay. So what we want to do is try and fight him from, from range. Okay, so there's some people in the crowd. They're all looking forward to it. Um... The Brawlers of Reckoning. Okay, are we going first? We are. So I want to keep him coming forward, really. Oh, he, he did this. What I think I want to do is just keep him here. Because he's going to have to make a choice. Hopefully, oh man. I was going to say, hopefully not get in range. And then we can use this. And we can use this. Not bad, hey? We used our, our charge abilities knowing that if we kept a, a, a line. It's interesting the, a, the AI was, was bright enough to not keep a, uh, a line in, sort of in front of us. So we gain some gold. Nice. Uh, agility and armor for our two, two peeps. And we got some... And we got some spell books, so potion of poison. Throw a potion of poison at an enemy, applies a poisoned um, debuff. 
Charge at an enemy, knock them back one tile, requires an unblocked horizontal or vertical path to the target. We've already got something like that. Uh, magically distract an enemy to uh, amnesia. Amnesia duration one, the unit is unable to use their skills. I think we'll go with this. A gloomy beggar lies on top of the makeshift bed made out of bones, asking you for gold. I don't have any. 30% um, chance of a positive outcome, why not? What happened? The beggar is so overwhelmed with you that generously they give you a piece of equipment. Chain mail. We've got plus four armor, plus three strength, 12 MP in critical chance, and we lost 30 gold. Nice. So I'm guessing if we go to the shop, we can find other things to pick up. So we've got 50 gold. There's a sale on a spiked mace. I like it. I like it. I do like a spiked mace. Um, what else have we got? Cuffs. Um... Blade of Gauntlet, that's pretty cool as well. I mean, not what we want, but it's pretty cool. Should we go with a should we go with a, a, a mace? I think we should. Oop. Okay, let's have a think about this. So I'm gonna give you this, I think. I mean I think there's an argument that you could you could have it as well. But Give you that and we'll give this to you and do we want either of them to have this what's the range on this four i think i'm going to hold off giving that to anyone for now we're going to go straight back into another fight um and we're up against two people this time that's a bit that's a bit of bad news one of them's a wizard semi-aquatic warriors that are known for capable hunters They've got the same skill as us of throwing in a straight line. Okay. So the Emperor can, can demand you to, uh, to do a little bit more. We're up against the Barbarians of Mortality. Oh, I see. It's like that, is it? Where are you coming, son? Okay, so we need to move a couple. Nice. Let's back up a little bit, I think. We'll get to together over here. This amount of AP is insane. Still got one more. Nice. Ouch. Not sure there's any need for that. And we're going to go for the same thing again. She's got seven health. She's dead. We're incredible. We're the best. We got 61. So we got a little bit more gold this time. Um, we got vitality and agility. And ooh, we got a magic defense mantle. An enchanted dagger. Plus one physical damage. Plus five magic damage. Plus one wisdom. Or a steel staff, plus three physical damage, plus two magic defense. Wow, I don't know. I just don't know. Why is this in a different color? Is it because it's a straight up benefit to one skill, do you think? Let's take the... Let's take the mantle for now. I think we're going to look for a, a wizard. Oh, wow, we gained a, a perk, Defiant. Uh... Waste time at mini seems to have picked up some... Oh, did I just click on something? Oh, okay, fine. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Whoopsie. We got up to 71 gold. Let's have a little look at what we've got. I don't think there's any point in giving. Although you have got minus five magic defense. I mean, a werewolf in a little, a little cape seems a little silly, but that gets us down to zero for now. I think that's what we'll do. 
And then let's have a little look. Although something like this is just as good, right? And we're still vulnerable to magic, but it would be quite nice. We could. 71 isn't enough to get us anyone new. A glass dagger. I think getting Midia a weapon would be nice. Getting him some hit points as well would be just as nice. I mean, we could do something like this. Up to 28 hit points, which is pretty good for us, actually. And then do we want a... Uh, we probably need another weapon, but for the time being, Midi's going into it with just the range and the AP. Okay, next up, Guardians of Prophecy. Oh, God. Okay, let's get into this. got a lot of magic and we're very vulnerable to magic this guy's got four hit points I mean, that is not ideal i think we'll wait here for this guy to come closer Holy crap balls. One shot at him. I'll have some of that, mate. And now we got to wait. I laughed at his 4 HP. He absolutely destroyed me. We're just going to kind of bide our time, let her come to us. She's very slow. We need one more turn. To get our uh, our skill back. And we've got the range on her. There we go. Our poor old Horatio got his, uh, got his ass absolutely kicked. 66 gold, Midi got one strength, and we get a new person. So we've got a Whisperer, a Lizard, Berserker Swings, if it's a Savage Blow to an enemy, lose HP equal to 33% of the damage dealt. So let's kind of take ourselves out, and another Werewolf, we could have Team Werewolf, not sure that's a wise idea. Lizard? Do we think a Lizard? Do we think the Whisperer does not consume a turn? Okay, let's go with the Whisperer. We haven't got one. We'll take you. Hello. So we've got two wounds over here. Jesus, I can't believe that was a one shot. Um, an opportunity opens up for Muscle to attend... Uh, a demanding training camp. It's a great practice. It's great practice, but can be very intense. You know what? You just arrived. Why not? Um, your armor is improved by five. You were injured for three. Okay, we're okay with that. We've got ninety-seven gold. Let's get let's get you learning some stuff. Okay. It's giving you a sword might not be the worst option. Although, getting you to be like a dodge chance, a huge dodge chance and everything else would be pretty sweet. But then a sword. But a sword. I think we'll get one of these. What's this? Physical damage, 4 HP, 12 MP. What else have we got? Extend spirit. Doubles all effects on target. 
heavy bash. I mean, that could be, that could be reasonable, right? This is 50% of the magic defense. I think we're going to go. This is a trinket, so we could get a trinket and a, and a sword. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to give you this and we're going to give you this. Okay. And then there's a question as to whether we get you something like this. Can't afford it at the moment. Okay. Guild house. What we can do, I didn't even look at this. So we can store stuff in our inventory. We've got a roster so we can put people up here and then not fight, I guess. And we can train people. Interesting. Oh, okay, so could we go... Exactly. All of our gold. Boop. Perfect. But we're starting with wounds over here and here. So these guys are already in trouble. Bear in mind, we can lose fights. Oh, we've got notes and demands. We can lose fights. And we can... Um, we can also uh, recover our wounds if we don't get knocked out in each fight, but more knockouts means more more wounds. Don't knock out the first enemy until turn four. Okay, what have we got? Pretty strong vampire. Uh, relatively strong elf in comparison to us. Chaos Wing delivers devastating blow. blow uh, and end an enemy. Send flying, knock them back. Eight tiles. Holy crap. Forcing strength, Jesus. Okay, we're not ready for this. Life drain. So she's a vampire. Okay. And don't knock out anyone in the first four turns. I can't make that promise, mate. In all honesty. The executors of divinity. They go first. Okay, we're just going to bide our time a little bit. Oh, man, she's got range. one AP over here. God damn it. Okay. I don't want to be in a straight line with her. Oh God. Let's do it. Holy crap. Sorry mate. I didn't think I was going to, I didn't think I was going to kill her. Suffer the consequences. Holy crap. We're all poisoned. Free damage every time we need to <laughs> we need to finish this quickly. Range four, range three. You little scumbag. Nice, I like that. You little Right, okay. Ninety two gold. Nice. One strength, one vitality. We want him with his vitality, to be honest, and agility, that's good because we want him to be able to get get moving. Um Eight magic defense, three vitality, two armor, four magic defense, eight critical chance, two dodge chance. I'm tempted with this, you know. Let's take this. You stumble upon an old dungeon and find an ancient book magically bound to a pedestal detailing some sort of ritual. On the wall, written in blood, it reads, heavy words lie hollow on unburdened hearts. Only blood begets power. Lose one unit. Okay, that's fine. Out of all the people we wanted to die, that was him. Okay, so we got a scream from a muscle, mucle. Uh, echoes in the room, but qu quiets quickly, and the book devours mucle, mu muscle, mucle, and grows a new page. Book as Azaroth. 40 M HP, 80 MP, Two max AP gives skill soul drain. Drain an enemy soul essence to heal yourself equal to the damage dealt. Holy crap. We need a new person. Um, and I don't think we can necessarily afford anyone that's going to benefit us here. Um, we really want a magic user. Do we just do we just wait? Okay, let's go to the shop. I 
I was going to give this to you. Where's the where's the crit chance that I wonder? Because that's kind of what we've been building on. The question is, do we give anyone this? Seventy six health now. Jesus. Score a critical hit. So eighteen percent and twenty percent over here. So we got our mantle back. Okay. I think that's it for now. Slow burn. Okay, we'll try again. I, I'm sorry, Emperor. Steel skin. Chaos torrent. Javelin throw. Oh, we could have trained someone, probably. Magic arrow. Uses max AP to one, so we want to steer clear of that if we can. Okay. We've got to get to the fourth turn without knocking anyone out. Don't move too far, please. Two turns, okay. Here they come, they're still coming. That was turn three. Well, this is turn three. Here they come, oh God. That was turn four. Was it after turn four? On the first four turns. God damn it. I mean, to be fair, the, the consequences weren't that bad the last time, right? I don't even know what he did this time. Nice. Oh, she's still alive, god damn it. Not anymore. Oh my god, I didn't realise Horatio was so close to dying. Armour and agility, okay. Oh, we got a new character, nice. A wizard. Now, a wizard does sound good right now. Voltmore. Gabriella the Vampire doesn't sound horrendous either. I think we're going to go wizard. We'll get a straight up magic user. Horatio's earned the title The Bold. The Grizzly. Um... A local healer comes to offer his services after hearing about your injured gladiators. Heal your team for 100 gold. I think we'll pass. Gladiators made out of something else. They do not need healing. Thanks, buddy, though. I appreciate it. Would have been nice to heal, but I think we're okay. Um, okay. Let's go to the shop. We'll give you this for now, for starters. I guess we'll give this to you. I guess. What have we got here? Magic arrows... Um, pressure burst. Unleash a burst of magical pressure at an enemy. Knock back five tiles. Okay. Then let's give this to you. And then we need something for a magic user. Holy crap. Go 
Crofts gives vitality, HP. Crofts give wisdom. We don't really need trinkets. We need... Um, magical damage. We'd like more magical damage, in all honesty. We've got some spells. We can earn one more, learn one more. Energize. Increases the AP. Close the distance. Quickly sprint towards an enemy. Requires an unblocked line. Does not consume a turn. Oh, okay, that's quite nice. Um, close the distance and close the distance. And then this one. I mean, we could get another person, maybe. Clifford the Werewolf. Irene the Vampire. I really want a, a Minotaur, if I'm honest. Okay, let's hold off. <laughs> Voltmore, you're just going to have to hang in there, bud. You've got a lot of HP, so you should be all right. Okay. The Assailants of Slaughter. Um, we're going to fight these next episode. I would love to know what you think of this game. Um, I have enjoyed it. We're up in the second league, as you can see here. This is the last fight of the second league. And then we'll move on to the, the silver league, I guess. Is that a turkey? Um, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.